Hello, Facebook friends. We came to the end of our day here at the center. So I wanted to show you a part of the center that we didn't get to tour last time, and that is our food pantry. So we are affiliated with the Food Bank of North Carolina. We're a member agency, and uh, we have a food pantry that people can get some emergency food assistance in, but also we make our big meals out of here. So this is the food that we use to create the big lunches every day that we serve 40 to 70 people on a daily basis. Um, and if today we were visited by somebody who had been in the hospital and had missed 10 days of work and hi Randy and um, she was worried about making ends meet. So if you come by Love Wins and you're worried about making ends meet and you're having a hard time buying groceries, here's a couple of things we can do for you. One thing we can do is that we have Catholic Parish Outreach Vouchers. And what we do is uh, we just write you up a voucher and you can take it down to Catholic Parish Outreach and they will hook you up with all kinds of food. They have all kinds of things there. They have a great program. Um, they'll fill the trunk of your car with food. They'll, if you're going on the bus, they'll fill your bags with food. Um, but also in the interim, we can help you out here. So we're gonna take a little trip around the uh, food pantry. So behind me, we have our canned goods. Um, you have beans, we have uh, canned potatoes because those are very convenient. Um, we've got tons of tuna right now down here. So we definitely give away cans of that and we make a lot of tuna at the center because it's been so hot. People are not wanting that big heavy food, you know. Um, we keep dry goods specifically in plastic tubs and this keeps us from getting pests. Um, if you have a food pantry or you would like to start a food pantry, something that's very important is to get tubs with a closing lid. And, and anywhere you have a food pantry, I will just let you know, a rat is gonna find you. It just will happen. So make sure you get all your uh, dry goods put into a nice container so that something bad doesn't happen to your stuff. And we've got in here, we've got pasta and we've got rice, dry beans, all the good essentials. We've got macaroni and cheese, uh, you know, things that kids like to eat. Um, we also have two refrigerators. So we've got two refrigerators with freezers. What we use these for, um, mostly up here when we get a big windfall of fresh vegetables or fruits, we don't want anything to go to waste. So we will slice everything up and freeze it. So you see we've got some tomatoes, we've got some blueberries up here that we'll use for pancakes. And same thing over here, we got a windfall of jalapenos. So we've got a whole like bunch of sliced up jalapenos right here. Um, this refrigerator, we t tend to put um, cheese products, dairy, stuff like that. Um, we do get a fresh food donation every Thursday. So we put our fresh produce in there. So if you're a vegetarian, we can help you out with fresh produce. Um, we get, sometimes we get really lucky and we'll get like a whole pallet of something delicious like peaches. We put those straight out into the community so everybody can have a snack. One of the coolest features in here is we've got this huge, huge freezer. So this freezer is where we store our meat. And check that out. So we try to separate everything by what it is. So we keep um, raw chicken on this side. Then we've got whole chickens and whole turkeys. Then we've got our hams and pork. And then with like smaller donations of things that are like little bits of beef or ground beef or um, sausages, we keep down here. And we'll pull from that when we uh, make, you know, breakfast or uh, soup, something that needs smaller amounts of meat. We keep our condiments up here. This is things to make food taste good. Um, Cause if you cook, it's gotta taste good. People don't, don't wanna eat food that's bland. And that's the tough thing about being a soup kitchen is that oftentimes people don't think about donating things like salt or um, spices or mayonnaise. We definitely can use all those things. Um, we've got some relish here. Um, we keep canned fruit up here for people if they like to take it with them. And then right here, I keep soups that people can um, just pop the top and eat them right out of the can if they have to. Or if they have access to a microwave, they can heat them up so it's super easy. We're a little thin on these right now, but we go through a lot of them. Now over here, we do keep our spices. So this is where we're going to have vinegar and we're going to have our black pepper, uh, garlic powder, cinnamon for French toast, which we do every Friday. And... 
Over here, we keep um, pancake mix and cereal. When we have lots of cereal, this is where we put it. We'll put out cereal and milk in the mornings for people to have breakfast, especially if we don't have a specific breakfast planned. Hey, Randall, I saw what you brought. Sorry, I was in the meeting when you got here. Um, up here is snacks. So when people want to take a little something with them, they don't necessarily have the ability to cook. Um, they just want to nibble. Right now, I think we've got pretzels. We've got a couple of things of chips. Um, we try to keep some crackers, like peanut butter crackers, are really, really good for people to just have a little snack on the go. So if you're a person, and this is, this is for the whole community, um, you don't have to be a person experiencing homelessness. You can just have some food insecurity. You could be having a hard time. Feel free to come down here. We're at 824B North Bloodworth Street. And we're across the street from the Salvation Army in the bottom of the Open Table Methodist Church. And we will get you hooked up. We'll make sure that you're eating. And if you need, we will get you one of those Catholic Parish Outreach vouchers. And yeah, we do not mind at all. And this is for everybody. Oh, thank you, Randall. You're awesome. You're all the awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to stop this live feed. We are empty in here right now. We just had uh, everybody clean up. Everybody just left. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get that shower truck back across town and uh, hopefully not check any curbs. And you guys have a wonderful day.